Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian K. Stay frosty. What's going on everyone and welcome to the channel where today I'm over at Carl's Jr. early in the AM this time to check out the breakfast variant of their latest limited time only promo. Yeah, and let's just say I'm a little concerned already, guys. Feast your eyes on what I've got here. What you're seeing on the inside of this tortilla is gonna be their Philly cheesesteak breakfast burrito. A very small situation for the money. And I gotta say again, I am very concerned. Let me break this one open for you real fast. And we'll give you a quick little shot of the inside before we get into that close up. It's looking decent with that steak right there, guys, but it's missing a lot of everything else. Let me break this one on down for you real quick. All right, now on the surface, this definitely sounds like it's gonna be pretty tasty. What we've got here is a warm flour tortilla that's gonna be filled with scrambled eggs, sliced ribeye, fire roasted onions and peppers, and of course some melted cheese. But guys, again, the quantity of each of them is very light for the money at close to $9 after tax. I gotta say, this is actually not a very good situation value-wise, but it does look pretty tasty still for what's here. I just wish it was a little bit more filled out. That's really the main thing because it just doesn't look substantial for that price point. But let's just see if the flavor is going to deliver on it. This is their latest breakfast promo item, the Philly Cheesesteak Breakfast Burrito here at Carl's Jr. Let's peep out this flavor. You know, I guess the main thing that's the most disappointing about this, aside from this looking fairly decent with that ribeye steak, guys, is the fact that my local spots around town, I can actually get a much more substantial burrito for about a dollar less. Case in point, the Lucky Boy burrito that I reviewed way back in the day. Take a look at that review jumping up on your screen here right now. That's a legendary breakfast burrito here in Pasadena. And I gotta say, it is crazy good. But guys, look how thin this is. Very, very light. So enough chit chat. It's the Philly Cheesesteak Breakfast Burrito here at Carl's Jr. Let's peep this out. Okay, all right. Well, it's fairly flavorful, not really as salty as I kind of expected it to be, guys, but the sliced ribeye is not bad, although it's a little bit of a leaky mess out the back here, so kind of wish I kept it in the wrapper here. But as you can see, what it's missing a lot of is the cheese and maybe a little bit of the extra cheese, but the flavor that I am getting from what is here is fairly decent, guys. I mean, the steak is fairly tender, it's juicy, the eggs are kind of there, and the cheese sauce is all right, but the fact that the onions that are in there as well with the roasted peppers is adding a lot of moisture to this one, so you gotta be careful because this thing is already leaking out the back. Let's go for another bite. We're gonna get into some breakfast salsa in just a second. But so far, it's just okay. But again, that price point is killing this one crazy. Let's go for another bite. Steak is good though. Are you feeling me now on this one with the fact that there's hardly anything on the inside of it? Take a look at what's left after that second bite, guys. I'm really trying to make this one last for this half of the review. But as you can see, it's definitely a challenge trying to do this review right now, considering I want to take a much bigger bite. There's just not going to be very much left after that fact. But as you can see, all the main ingredients are on display for you guys. Again, the quantity is just crazy small on it. And hey, while I'm definitely digging the overall flavor, I mean, it's not bad for what it is. It's just small. That's the only thing. Let's go for a little bit of that breakfast salsa action here, and we'll see if we can try and change the flavor profile just a little bit. So let's get this going just a little bit here with some salsa. Hopefully I cut that just enough, and it looks like I did. We'll go for just a little bit here as it's shooting it all over my car. Did you guys see that? <laughs> that just took a shot right onto my window here right now. But I did get a fairly decent amount just to kind of get that flavor. Let's go for a bite. I got some cleaning up to do. It's good with a paste picante vibe. I like it though. That's not bad with the steak though, it really isn't. Well, I gotta say a little bit of the saving grace is the salsa with this one because a lot of the classic flavors that I'm kind of getting from the cheesesteak vibe with this one are definitely elevated because of it, guys. And again, it is a pretty nice combination added on to this. So let's go for one more bite very carefully. I'll squeeze this out over here just a little bit. And hopefully that's coming through for you guys here. It's definitely a challenge filming this one today, but it is what it is. So let's go for one more bite. We'll wrap this review up with the rating coming up next. But guys, I'm so glad I got some salsa to go with this. It's a little bit of a leaky mess. As you guys can see, it's getting crazy here. Let's go for one last bite and we'll wrap this review up. Hang on one second. Well, here's a shot of the other half for you guys. And I gotta say, this would be so much better as a $3 offering. That's really all that it's worth overall, considering the amount of food that you're getting here. But again, that salsa really elevates the flavor profile pretty nicely. In addition to the sliced ribeye being nice and tender and juicy, the roasted onions and the peppers go a long way with this one. It's a nice combination. It's just not worth the money, guys. It just really isn't. 
All right, so with that said, I'm gonna have to give this new Philly cheesesteak breakfast burrito here at Carl's Jr. a semi-lackluster six out of 10. Like I said, the quantity would go a long way to really making this one feel like it's worth it, especially when you're getting up to the $10 range, literally. It really isn't worth that at all, obviously, clearly from what you saw here in this review. But the flavor for what you're getting is okay, considering the sliced ribeye that's on the inside of that, along with the roasted peppers and the onions, the cheese, of course. It just needs a lot of everything else to really make you feel like you're having a decent breakfast burrito. That's really the main thing. So Carl's, please adjust your pricing. It's crazy here on the West Coast. You just gotta do something about that. Come on. All right, so do me a quick favor like always. Drop those comments down below. Let me know what you thought of the look of this particular Philly cheesesteak breakfast burrito over here at Carl's Jr. Did it look like it was worth the money to you? And for those of you peeps who have had it already, did it satisfy you overall? Was it worth it in that regard? Drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. And with that, this is Ian K closing out another high quality foodie feature for you here on Peep This Out Reviews, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So why stay tuned for that next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. Hey, thanks for checking out this review, guys. But just in case you didn't see the one I did before this one, you can find it right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's gonna recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya.